All right, so I've got a, a 2011 Ram 1500, and I'm just going to run through some of the tests and special functions that the uh, Maxisys MS906TS is uh, able to perform. Uh, a lot of people are interested to see what this scanner can and can't do on particular vehicles. So right here, we're at the screen, I uh, did an auto detect. It detected the VIN, the year, make, model, and it's a, uh, like I said, a 2011 Ram 1500. So we're going to hit yes to that. And I'm just going to basically go through the special functions and the test. Um, we'll take a look at hot functions. So here at the hot functions page, you got tire pressure monitor, programming your keys or your uh, immobilizer, brake bleed injector, steering battery, windows and door uh, checks, headlamp, seats. Whoop, yeah, same thing. Diagnosis, we'll go to control. We're going to go to powertrain first, uh, ECM. Trying to get the, the best angle here, but it's kind of tough. Okay, so of course you got all your basic stuff. You're, you're reading your codes, your ECU information, erase codes, live data, active test. Um, we'll do. We'll go ahead and do active test. And that's some of the active tests that you can do. There's three pages. Of course, all your fuel injectors. Um, EGR duty cycle, AC compressor clutch. Go to the next page, auto shutdown relay uh, test, fuel pump relay, condenser cooling fan, O2 sensors, alternator. Third page. So it does quite a few tests. Uh, on the engine um, of course you got system check a lot of people probably wonder what that is uh, this so if you see a system check it, it'll run a particular system through a well just that a system check um, and it'll it'll test that system to see if it's if it's working right or if at least if it thinks it's working right uh, we'll do special functions of course your common you know check PCM check PCM odometer uh, you know, a lot of people want to know what that is. This function will write the current mileage into a new PCM. So, if you wanted to replace the PCM, check PCM VIN. The VIN's valid. Press OK to change the VIN. Press uh, ex uh, Escape to exit. Then it's got the VIN number there so you can verify the, the VIN is the right one. So, you can replace the PCM and you can program it. Uh, the way it needs so that it'll work okay uh, yeah TCM let's see what it's got on that okay no config system on that they sit in a hybrid so probably not going to find nothing on there that's just regular gas body control module the Dodgers usually have quite a bit on the body control module uh, and I'm not going to go through all this but of course you got your you know your, your uh, HVAC doors uh, heated seats if you got heated seats it's got a couple pages a central gateway now we definitely want to click on that because there's usually quite a bit uh, in the central gateway uh, option compressor trailer brakes so we're going to go into the central gateway 
and we'll see what kind of stuff uh, it's going to give us access to. Okay, so right here, if you go into, uh, we'll do active test first, and then we'll do special functions. Probably going to have quite a bit of active test. Okay, so you can check all your, you know, all your uh, exterior lighting, trailer brake, hookup. Wipers, door locks, horn, AC clutch. Blower motor, power supply. Now we'll go into special functions. Now usually on Chrysler's, you've got a lot of stuff under uh, special functions in, in uh, this module. So, uh, you know, you en enable or disable your daytime running lights, change the way your door locks function, uh, you can program your tire size. There's your program tire size and pinion factor. So, if you change your gearing or, uh, you know, put different tires on. Uh, different size tires you can correct the speedometer and your shift points one thing people always forget about is you're not just correcting your speedometer but you're also correcting when the transmission shifts if you put bigger tires on a vehicle and you think well my speedometers I know it's off five miles per hour and I'll keep that in mind the one thing you don't have control over is now your transmissions not shifting uh, perfectly uh, it's going to be out of sync from, because the computer obviously doesn't realize that it's going either faster or slower. Um, of course, uh, relearn the tip them bin. So if you change that to tip them, you can uh, program that. So two pages worth of uh, actually, I guess yeah, close to two pages worth of worth of things you can do there the one of the big things is the tire size because you know a lot of trucks people put oversized tires on them and it's nice to be able to go in and program them now keep in mind that this is only going to let, allow you to change the tire size to one of a factory that the factory offered um, you know from the factory on this vehicle so if you put you know 37 inch tires on it's probably not going to be in the list uh, for that for that size so you still have to buy you know a programmer that's capable of doing that and I think we you know we looked at this there's your uh, TPMS so that's what you have there in the uh, body control module chassis of course, you got your anti-lock brakes, steering angle, tire pressure monitor again over there, electric power steering if if indeed you have electric power steering. Um, let's see what it says for that. Okay, well this truck doesn't have electric power steering. I was hoping it actually would say whether or not you can change the uh, power steering module and be able to program it. And I don't know if you can. If this had electric power steering, it might have popped up and and said what it would do but this truck has hydraulic power steering um anyway i don't know you know most of your stuff's going to be under powertrain and body control module that you're probably going to be interested in but that's pretty much what uh, 2011 dodge truck has as far as uh options of course you got your key um, now the thing with dodges though in fact where's that at did I miss that where would that be let's see something special functions I was just curious if uh, if it would indeed oh something else you can do 
is uh, change your uh, your pressure thresholds for your TPMS. Uh, so if you if you like to run your tires, you know, higher pressure than what the factory recommends, you know, let's say you did put different tires on, and or even the factory ones, and you want to run them, you know, five or ten pounds higher, and it trips your TPMS light because the the pressure thresholds aren't right. You can change that on these Chryslers. And I think we did active test already. Of course, uh, what are we under here, body? Again. So there's the uh, this is the system check for vehicle theft uh, system. So it gives you quite a few options. Um, what I was wanting to actually see. Go back here to hot functions. Somewhere in there's the program your key option. And I don't like going through hot functions because I've found on a couple cars that going through that particular shortcut does not give you all the options that go into the actual module gives you. So there's your options for programming a key. Now usually on these Chryslers you've got to be able to, you either have to have the pin code or have something that will pull the pin code. This tool will not pull pin codes, unfortunately. That is one of the downfalls. If you buy their, I think it's the IM608, I think, and there's another one, I forget what its number is. It, they'll pull, they're, they're dedicated to keys and they'll pull pin codes. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of run through this give you an idea of what what you can and can't do 2011 Chrysler probably just about any Chrysler's in this range uh, year range you're gonna have about the same uh, options nice little reminder so that you it reminds you to pull the uh, uh, VCI so you don't forget it. Anyway, you guys take care.